Hey guys, what's up? It's Ocean the Skater here. Today we're looking at how to get your latest .log file. So mainly you're going to be needing this for if you're posting to get help on the bucket forums or something like that. So often someone will say, oh, I have a problem with this plugin or this doesn't work when I try and run this command. And then I'll say, all right, just post your latest .log and I'll take a look and see if that has anything. And often people will say, oh, well, where do I find it? How do I get to it? So this video just kind of shows you a few different ways to get to it. So the first way is going to be right on your server website. So if you're uh, if you have a hosted server and you don't go into the FTP, you don't use FileZilla or anything, you just manage it all on the site, then this is what you want to do. So most hosts use Multicraft and it'll look something like this. It'll still have the side panel and stuff. So I'm using this game server right here. So what you want to do is go into files, then FTP access. And now we've got some information right here and I'm just gonna log right in and you can see that there are files right here, all right? So I got lots of worlds and stuff. So what we're gonna get do is, and this is the root directory, this is the root directory for your server. We'll go in and click logs right here. And you'll see all these log files and basically every time you restart your server, the latest log file is gonna be archived into something that looks like this. So the very latest one is way over here. We can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna download it for us. I'll toss that on my desktop, open it up, and as you can see, we've got this long ass log right here and that's got all your stuff. So now you're gonna wanna copy that. Go ahead and control A, control C, close that. And we're gonna post it on a site called Pastebin, all right? And I'm only gonna show you this part once since you'll be doing the same thing for the uh, other ones. So you go into the site, you don't have to make an account or anything. You just go to the site, paste your login here, scroll down to the bottom. The syntax highlighting is optional. If you're to be highlighting it, it's usually going to be YAML, especially if you're using a permissions.yml file or groups.yml or whatever, but I just leave it blank. So the paste expiration, you usually want to set it to never just so that it doesn't expire, you know, and then people don't have to be like, hey, I need it again because it expired. Uh, you can leave it public if you want. I like to set it to unlisted. That makes it so that only people with the link can view it. So just that way, not uh, just so that random people can't view it. Like over here, you got some random public pastes. So I just like to put it to enlisted and then you give it a decent name. So you could just say log or something or latest log. And you just hit submit and then you copy this URL right here to wherever you want to share it. And then when the person goes, paste it in and hit, hits enter, it's gonna show up for them and they can look at it. So that's one way to do it. I'm gonna show you how to check it if you're running the server on your computer. So pretty straightforward. So you got your server right here. We'll say this one, I guess. And you just wanna go into logs and then it's gonna be right at the bottom right there for you. So straightforward, same stuff. And finally on FileZilla. So this is if you do FTP into your server and modify the files with something like this. So right here, you can see the logs folder again, simple enough to go right in there. And I like to delete these usually. I'll delete most of them, just get rid of them. You usually don't need the old log files. There we go. And we've got our latest .log right here. You can either open it up and then this is a pretty long log file actually. Um, I don't even know, I might. Pastebin might have a uh, maximum size, but uh, it, it can usually have pretty big files in there. And we'll just do unlist it again, and we'll say second log or something. I don't know. And my my uh, computer's just lagging a little bit. All right, so since I've pasted a lot in a little bit little amount of time, it's got this little capture right here. So you know, straightforward, really easy, and submit. And there we go. So we got another log right here. So that's all there is to it. Basically, you just go into your server files, go to logs, and then go to the latest.log. And you always want to make sure you copy the whole thing, especially so it has the startup um, area, because that's usually the most important. It'll show when plugins are loading and if they have any problems loading and stuff like that. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like down below. And if you have anything else you want me to try and cover, leave a comment down below and I'll make, try my best to make that happen. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.